What is going on YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about five things that you should be doing to build your personal brand. Before we start this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to the brand that I have started and I have been building. Not only is it my personal brand, but it is a brand that I plan to scale to become something much bigger than just me. Roll Tape consists of nothing but visual arts. I love music, I love photography, and I love videography. So if you like any of those three, go ahead and check that out. It's at RollTape.com or you can find us at Roll Tape on Twitter or Roll Tape on Instagram. So we're gonna start off with number one. The number one thing to building your personal brand will be becoming a source. You wanna become the source for something. What do people know you for? What do they go to you for? And that is going to be very important because you don't want to be a cat person and then a fruit person and then an airplane person. It's a little bit confusing. You want to narrow your niche down. If you're in a situation where you want to build a brand around stickers, you want to be able to scale where your brand is compared to other sticker companies. Number two, we're looking for constant audience engagement. You want to engage with your audience as much as possible and as many times as possible. This doesn't have to be creating content in every single opportunity that you get, but it can also mean creating valuable ways to provide information or provide entertainment to your audience in the most efficient way possible. Consistency is one thing that audiences are looking for. They want to look for someone that they can tune in once a week or once a day to get some type of value, information, entertainment, whatever it is. And you want to have this consistency with you and your audience across all platforms. Twitter pages, Facebook pages, YouTube pages, Instagram pages. Your audience can reach you at those specific points. Cross advertise yourself so that people can know that you have a Twitter page. So people can know that you post on your Instagram stories. So people can know that you have YouTube videos. You want to have engagement between all three all four all five whatever you have platforms just make sure that your audience is able to follow you in as many places as possible so that trust can continue to be built number three you want to stay authentic keep your content around what you do around the type of person that you are creating content that is not you is going to show to your audience fastest they're going to be able to see that you don't know what you're talking about you don't know how things actually work and it will not be able to last for you in the long run because it's not who you are so in whatever you do make sure it is authentically you ramen accidentally nowadays you want to have entertainment and information if it's only information it's going to be very hard to keep someone's attention and if it's only entertainment you can only go so long you have way better chances of someone becoming a diehard fan if you can teach them something or if you can provoke a feeling inside of them that they are not getting from other people. So being able to entertain someone and inform them at the same time could build long-term relationships. And long-term relationships is exactly what you're looking for. Last but not least, number five on my list is working smart and working hard at the same time. So work smart in understanding your audience and understanding what they want to see and work hard in creating quality content. If you're someone that tells jokes on Twitter, you want to make sure that your jokes are funny to your audience. You want to be dynamic and ever-changing. You want to evolve and understand your audience. So you want to work hard and work smart at the same time. So these are the five things that I feel like every week when you set goals, every personal brand, keep these five things in mind. Becoming a source, constant engagement with your audience, staying authentic, being able to entertain and inform and last but not least working hard and smart if you follow me on instagram you might not get the same depth of type of person that i am but come to my youtube channel and you'll be able to find out some more about me some more about my life and uh, how things are going my business my brand people that i partner with and all those type of things so if you like these type of videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next video 30 hertz, straight up.